little kitchen, boy. I'm hungry. What's up everybody and welcome back to the kitchen today we're gonna to be making a super easy pan sear cajun honey garlic chicken breast i really think you guys will love this one so let's just get to it we're gonna start off by making our cajun seasoning i'm gonna use one teaspoon of square sea salt i'm also gonna use about a half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper also a teaspoon of garlic powder a teaspoon of onion powder i'm also going to use about a teaspoon of some lari seasoning salt we have here just to add a little extra flavor. Next, I'm gonna use about a half teaspoon of some chili powder, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and last but not least, I'm gonna use a half teaspoon of some paprika. All right, let's just go ahead and mix this up nicely. Um, I just want to get any kind of lumps or anything you might have to get in there, just get that out. All right. Next, we're gonna move on to our chicken breast. I'm using some boneless, skinless chicken breast here. I'm only using one chicken breast um, right now, but I might end up using another, but I'm just going ahead and just splitting it down the middle. Now, I like to start from the fat side and then kind of just like work my way through. I just wanna sort of butterfly these, so that means not really cutting all the way through, but you know, as you can see, I end up using the second piece, but I end up cutting that all the way through for later. And I'm just gonna season this up really, really nicely. Generously season both sides, make sure it's all nice and coated. And this should be plenty of seasoning for just about two chicken breasts. All right, let's move on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dice about a half onion. Um, I wanna small dice these. About a quarter cup. Then I'm gonna also do the same thing with some green peppers. You can use some red peppers if you want. I'm gonna take five cloves of garlic because I want it really, really garlicky. Mince that nicely. Now I'm gonna take about a quarter cup of some vegetable oil and just get that going in a nice hot cast iron skillet. And want it to nice and sizzle. Then we're gonna add our other chicken breast in there and just get it nice and going. Now we're just gonna go ahead and flip this. Now I have this on about a medium high. Um, I do gradually turn down the heat, but I just want that nice sear. As you can see, it's nice and golden brown and not burnt. <laughs> um, okay. So we're gonna just gonna go ahead and I like to just, because they're butterflied and I guess split, I just kind of like to flip them often. Um, when they're golden brown, I do this about two more times and it should be done. These smells are amazing. All right, next we're gonna move this off to the side here because we're gonna go ahead and saute our peppers and onions. I like to move that off the burner for just a little bit. I don't want my oil to get too hot. Now, I like to just do my peppers and onions at the same time. You can do one of each, but I do them and just saute them with the oil that was left over in the pan with all the seasonings. Uh, it smells really amazing when you do this, guys. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and season it with just a little bit more sea salt. Just a pinch. And crack some black pepper over there as well. You know, you wanna season up everything. It's already seasoned, but add a little bit more. All right, go ahead and get those nice and, nice and caramelized. Now we're gonna add our five cloves of garlic in there. This minced garlic smells amazing, and I add this right at the last minute. Then, as soon as I do that, I add a cup of some chicken stock. Just let that simmer. Now I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of some soy sauce. You can use dark soy sauce or light soy sauce, but I'm just using some regular soy sauce. Then I'm gonna also add a little bit of chili powder in there and also some uh, pepper flakes. Now that's completely optional. But if you want, I use a teaspoon of chili powder and a tablespoon of pepper flakes. Now I'm gonna add some fresh cilantro in the mix. Uh, use as much as you want. And also grate a little bit of lime. If you don't have a lime to grate, you can add just a little bit of lemon juice. That works out just perfectly. And guys, I'll make sure I put the recipe in the description below. All right, now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of honey. Now, if you wanna make this a little bit sweeter, you can add 
maybe about a, a, a half cup of honey, but I just prefer to use a quarter cup. We're gonna let this come to a nice boil. Then once it becomes to a boil, we're gonna add our chicken back in just for a split second. And then we're gonna bring it back down to a simmer. Now our chicken is about 95 to 98% done cooking, but this last procedure will completely complete the process. And I just like to flip it a few times, get it nice and coated as you can see as it's simmering. It's starting to turn into a nice little glaze here. No need to put this in the oven. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with some fresh cilantro. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's get, take this off the stove. And I just like to put this over a bed of rice or something. You know, you can eat this with some rice, you can eat this with some broccoli, you can eat it by itself, eat it on a sandwich, huh? Delicious. Go ahead and top it off with a little bit of more of that glaze if you want to. Mm -mm -mm. All right, clean up that plate. Let's give this a try. 